whatever there's a computer program, there's a computer code behind it, and somebody's had to write that code. Now, that doesn't apply just to laptops and PCs or iPhones and tablets, but it applies to things like power stations and, of course, aircraft. And we're here to discuss today a unique partnership between Boeing and an organization called Think Young, which is sponsoring and running a, a coding summer school. Andrea, you founded Think Young. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, Think Young is a think tank uh, with a specific focus, focus on young people, on new generation, millennials, generation Y, generation Z. And uh, so we do research on, on this, on young people. And then based on the research, we have a more hands-on practical approach where we create education program to try to improve the life of young people worldwide. And the Coding Summer School was one of such programs. Alicia, why is Boeing uh, partnering with us? So Boeing's actually uh, been working with community engagement projects for over 100 years now. Um, particularly in Europe, we're focused almost exclusively on STEM education, so that's science, technology, engineering and math. Uh, and in Brussels, we were able to find an extremely efficient, talented organization in Think Young uh, to help us bring our, our passion for, for STEM education to life. So what's the relevance of this to aircraft? Well, traditionally you think of aircraft manufacturers as, as big hands-on factories, and that was indeed the case in the past, but increasingly we're incorporating coding and programming into our manufacturing processes. So you mentioned earlier you need lines of code to fly aircraft, and that's true in the millions. So increasingly in everything that we do, we need talented young people who know how to program and who are up to date on these new skills uh, to come work in the aviation industry. Amalia. Why did you apply to join this year's summer school? Because uh, first of all, it's um, a rare thing that you, a rare summer school, you don't study everyday coding and obviously we don't study uh, coding at school. So it was a great opportunity to get finally to um, uh, meet this coding uh, world that um, has a lot to do with STEM, which um, it's a good way to start a future in. And can you give us an example of some of the things you've learned on this? Yes, uh, I learned to how to use um, HTML, uh, code H HTML and how to use also JavaScript. With this, I learned how to create a um, website, a blog, and even our own game that we could customize and really edit it and make us um, our own. And we, I don't also only um, learned new things. I also improved my basic uh, ICT skills, which are which is really helpful, and I'm actually continue using it right now. Now, given what you've learned on this course, can you see you have it, yourself having a future in aerospace engineering? Definitely, I'm planning on having a future in all the STEM sector and maybe also coding, uh, because um, I think it's a career that has a lot of future because since uh, development is based on technology, I think it would be very nice to develop and give a bit of my help to um, keep um, going with this technology. Can you describe the curriculum, Andrea? Can... Yeah, well, the, it was a five days program, uh, so five full days, uh, about eight hours a day, and it's a mix between in-class and out-of-class uh, activities. So. First thing we want to do is to create an in-class where they can learn the theory behind coding and where they can actually practice what Amalia rightly said about you know, making a blog or making a website, a little app. But then that's very somehow theoretical. You cannot really touch what, what actually you're developing. You can see it on the screen. And then that's why we created also the out-of-class activities where you have robots involved, where you have 3D printers, you have drones, and, and all this objects, they move and they actually perform and, and, and work thanks to coding. And that's why young people got, I think, very much engaged compared to usually what they find in schools because of this mix between in-class and out-of-class, the fact that we were all a team of young people running this, there was a company behind so they could also see what it is, the work life, and what it is after they go to school, which is something they miss at school as well. So these are the, the, the three parts that we, we were trying to to have young people engaged, and there was a very lively atmosphere, very fun, and, uh, and it worked out quite well. Have there been any um, major achievements coming out of this uh, project? Well, the, the first thing is to really try to show to young people that coding is fun, and it's exactly, as Amalia said, it's like learning a language, so it's not complicated. Sometimes you see number, you see difficult 
lines on the screen and people, young people especially, they get a bit turned off. Well, the practice proved that after they do this course, they're more interested in it, they understand how important it is, and in the long run, we hope we drive more young people into STEM education, which is from research we've done in the past, exactly where the jobs of the future are gonna be. So we need young people to understand that it's an easy thing, it's something fun, and it's something where they can get a job. And that was the first part. The second part is more a policy side, I would say. So as a think tank, obviously, we try to bring our experience to policy makers to make them understand how coding language is important and try to make some noise in, in Brussels as well, and but on local governments as well. We, we try to make sure that coding in the long term is also getting to the curriculum of schools in every country in Europe. And do you think you might one day see somebody that started off in the summer school one day working for Boeing maybe? I hope so. We've actually had several students come directly to us asking for work placements or internships or just general questions on how they can get engaged in the aviation industry. So it's really exciting to see those sort of direct impacts coming out of the school.